Today we're going to talk about manufacturing distributed molded fibers. Hi, my name is Paloma Gonzalez. I am the CEO of The New Materials, a company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, with connections in Santiago de Chile in South America. Our company develops biodegradable new materials, utilizing the, la the latest technologies in advanced manufacturing and computational tools. I am, a, I am a PhD in design and computation from MIT, and my dissertation explored applied machine learning for, designing, uh, for design processes. I'm also a postdoc impact fellow at the MIT Climate and Sustainability Consortium, where I work with corporate members to develop industrial sustainable solutions. Going back to my company, I want to introduce you to my co-founder, Jose Tomas. Hi, my name is Jose Tomas Dominguez. I'm a mechanical engineer and CTO of The New Materials. Um, in The New Materials, we developed a novel advanced method for producing tooling for the molded fiber manufacturing process. Molded fiber most common pro product is egg cartons, but today it's taking over a good fraction of the packaging industry. We want to take it beyond that by making, this by making this industry more reliable and faster, accelerating the transition towards a circular economy. It all started at the beginning of the pandemic. We decided to put all of our knowledge into the development of biodegradable, locally manufactured uh, face masks. Our main objective was to help our own home country, Chile, we were working together with the molded fiber uh, and molded pulp industry to find a solution to the, the lack of masks. During our work with molders, we realized that the huge entry barrier this industry faced stopping its expansion into new products was mold uh, manufacturing process. The molds for this industry are all covered by a stainless steel mesh. To manufacture a product, the mold is drawn into a water plus fiber slurry. The mesh traps the natural fiber after a suction process. As a result of this, we will get the molded fiber part. The problem with these molds is that the meshes are manually manufactured and attached to the mold. Yes, they are manually manufactured in 2021. This makes the process of manufacturing the mold slow and expensive. As a result, usually the molds are manufactured overseas in China. If you recall, we were working at the beginning of the pandemic with the supply chains completely broken. We needed to manufacture the tooling in Chile, a country with almost non-manufacturing capabilities. It was 3D printing time to shine. We needed to develop a process that enabled us to digitally design porous structures that covered all our base form. And even more challenging, manufacture them with machines available in Chile at a low cost for prototyping scale. After a couple of months of struggling with 3D modeling software and FDM machines, we discovered that Formlabs had the capability to print high accuracy meshes with a mechanical requirement to withstand the roughness of the industrial process. So in the image at, at, at the left, you can appreciate the difference of the quality of the meshes we got from FDM machines and with Formlabs machines. And at the right, you can appreciate the first mock-up we built of a mold um, and its resulting part. Most importantly, Formlabs allow us to scale. This was our first industrial test. Formlabs material library provide us with an alternative for high temperature or high pressure and high precision resins using low cost globally available machinery. The quality of their parts allow us to design mesh structures that outperform current 3D industry, um, 3D printed industry alternatives. So here you can see the results. Using Formlabs machines, we were able to develop a workflow that enabled the design and fabrication of tooling at 10% of the price and time it took before. Now we're working on the improvement of the mesh water absorption capabilities and the strength of the mesh, making the, mold, the molds work beyond the prototyping stage to a real replacement for currently 
standard stainless steel mesh based molds. We envision a world where distributed manufacturing is the norm. And we think molded fiber industry will become one of the first examples. This industry is present in almost every region of the world and its feedstock is recycled and globally abundant. With Form Labs, affordable high performance and low cost machinery and our workflow, we could build local manufacturing capabilities with a circular economy approach. Thank you.